My name is Matthew Charles Cardinale, news editor of AtlantaProgressiveNews.com, and I'm a resident of um, also the uh, Woodland Avenue area. Uh, I just wanted to make sure you guys had the benefit. Can I ask just for the people who are here who opposed to raise your hand, to just so they get a sense of how many people are here? Thank you. Um, I love my neighborhood the way it is. I am on a street that is characterized by affordable multifamily apartments. I pay $4.95 per month. Okay, they, uh, they said this wasn't about gentrification, but your own staff said this was about development and property value. So obviously, you know, what's gonna happen to my rent? What's gonna happen to the property taxes of the people who can't afford higher property taxes? This is also an attack on sexuality. Sexuality is okay, it is a part of life. Adult entertainment establishments are part of the character of our neighborhood. This is the reason that I moved to this neighborhood. And the families who also moved into this neighborhood knowing what neighborhood they were moving into, really, I don't really think they have the right to complain now. And the people who talk about um, uh, pushing their strollers past and what are they gonna tell their children? Well, maybe they can tell their children that sex is a part of life and that they shouldn't be ashamed and that they should express themselves and not repress themselves. As far as crime, I have never felt unsafe in my community. I also, you know, the, the city law department says that this is okay. I don't think that's much of a credential given their history. But I took the time to review. Um, you need to, y'all need to look at Purple Onion v. Jackson 1981 case. The city of Atlanta put an adult entertainment uh, ordinance in in 1976 that had an amortization. It was thrown out due to free speech, First Amendment protections. And this is just another parallel. Everything that they said that this was about, oh, this was about the mix, and this was about, you know, retail and whatever. No, this was about targeting a certain type of business, a certain type of speech because of a political, um, cultural, and yes, uh, rach uh, racial uh, agenda. So this is a gentrification project. And by the way, the people who said that the NPU support that, how do we even know that? This amended legislation didn't even go back before the, the NPUs. So I would just say, um, me, sir. yeah. There's 30 seconds remaining. There's 30 seconds remaining, and one more person would like to speak. Could you wrap things up, please? Okay. Um, I would just say, uh, go to AtlantaProgressiveNews.com and check out the legal analyses that I put together. There's also an equal protection issue. I'm going to take 10 seconds on this. An equal protection issue because nobody said that. What you're doing is creating a grandfather ordinance. Uh, a scheme for a particular section of the city that's different than the scheme that would affect the entire city uh, for, for, for no reason that it could pass under rational basis group.